In this lecture, what I want to do is I want to show you how to take this raw set of data and construct a histogram for it. So the problem was is we assumed that these were daily high temperatures, so it's continuous data. So when we want to do a, a visual representation of this, we're going to, it's going to be a histogram. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mouse and I'm going to select all the data. And I'm going to again select insert at the top. And from that, you're going to want to click on recommended graphs. And you're going to see all these crazy graphs here. So I'm going to go over to all charts. And remember what I wanted? I wanted a histogram. So there it is. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to click OK. So I'm just going to change the title. And the next thing you're going to notice is there's only three groups. And, that, and that's not really really great. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change that. You're going to want a minimum of five. So, but if you look back at the data, uh, things started in the 10s, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. Okay, so we're going to want a minimum of five groups here. So the way you change that is you're going to click, you're going to right click on the horizontal axis here, and you're going to click format axis. And then you're going to notice that it's going to load up. And there's a bunch of things you can do. You can click this, the number of bins, and you're going to change this to five. And you see something, I'm going to just make this a little bit easier to see, something that looks like this. All right. You could also, going back to this, you're going to format the axis. You could change the bin width and said, notice how it's 9.2. Maybe I'll just make it a nice 10. And you can see just like this. The only thing that's a little different about this uh, compared to how you might construct this by hand is they'll start setting the lower the, the lower bound here of your lowest one at the lowest possible value and then they'll add the, the class width to that. But that's okay, that's just, just one way to do it. But so again, select the data, you click insert, recommended charts, over to histogram. Hope that helps.